Hey guys, it's Jacqueline from The Sunday Project. If you follow me or my sister Chris on Instagram, then you know that we've recently been on a little sisterly bonding trip to Europe. And while I was there, of course, I did a little shopping. So I thought I would share with you my haul from the trip. I was thinking instead of just giving you, oh, this is what I bought while I was there, I was thinking of giving you a first impressions review as well. And that's what we're gonna do today. And almost everything I have is from the drugstore. So I'm thinking of calling this video my boots slash French pharmacy haul, I guess. I don't know, let's see. Work in progress. So let's start off with the makeup because there aren't a lot of makeup products here. First thing that I got is this Sexy Mother Pucker Lip Gloss from Soap & Glory. I have heard a lot of things about this product, so when I saw it in Boots, I thought I'd check it out. It's supposed to make your lips more plump. This is the shade Rose and & Shine, and I like it because it's this nudie pink color which doesn't really add anything. It kind of gives like a little pinky tint to whatever lipstick you're wearing, or if you're not wearing any lipstick at all, then it kind of just blends in with your natural lip color, which I like. But when you put it on, you do feel this tingling sensation. So I don't know, it makes me feel like, it makes me think that it's actually working. My number one complaint about this is I really can't stand the smell. Like it is so strong. It smells like, um, oh, like it's so sweet and like candy almost, I guess. I don't know. If you're like me and you don't really like very strong sweet fragrances, then this may not be the product for you. The next makeup product I got is the 17 Berry Crush Lip Stain. So it is a lip stain on one side. Oh, like, oh no. Okay, let's start with this side. It is a lip gloss, not a lip gloss, um, a lip balm. Where's my brain at? This is a lip balm on one side, and the lip balm is actually really nice. It's very moisturizing. I used it the entire time we were in Europe. And then on the other end, it has this kind of like a felt tip with the stain on it, so it looks like a marker, and then you put it all over your lips. It was okay when I first put it on. It gave me a nice lip stain. It was very natural. My problem with this is it dried out super quickly. Like within the two weeks that we were there, it was completely dry. Or I don't know if it was because of the weather, which doesn't make sense because this is a English product, I think. Where is this from? Yeah, it's made in England, so it should be able to withstand their temperature, I would think. But I'm still keeping it around because I really like the lip balmy end. And the last makeup product I got is this 17 Satin Matte Foundation Powder. So I tried a few of the 17 products because I've been hearing a lot of hype about it, so I thought I'd check out a few of their things. This I actually really enjoyed. This is in the shade Natural. And it is a foundation powder and it says oil control matte finish. I don't know about that. In my opinion, it doesn't really keep my skin looking very matte. I mean, I still feel like in the middle of the day, I'm usually asking people, does my skin look oily to you? Do I need to get some oil control in here? It looks really nice. Like the finish is really nice. I've been using it as a setting powder and I found it to be... It does the job, you know, I'm happy with it. So these products I would classify as half makeup, half skincare. Starting off with the La Roche-Posay BB Creams. I got it in the shade Medium and it seems to be okay on me actually. I'm using it today, it's what I have on. So this is a unifying, moisturizing skincare and I believe that Although it doesn't say so on the bottle, this is this has an SPF of 20 or 30. Um, it says so on the box, I'm pretty sure, because otherwise I wouldn't buy it. But it does a nice job of kind of evening out your skin tone a little bit, and it has an SPF in it, so um, I've been using it in lieu of SPF when I know that I'm only gonna be indoors. If you're going to be out in the sun, if you're gonna be walking around outdoors, you definitely need a separate SPF underneath your BB cream. Just saying. It's a nice consistency. It sinks into your skin. It's not like one of those BB creams that just sit on top of your skin and then everything else that you put on top of it doesn't sit right. Like everything else starts to shift and it's so hard to apply anything else. My only complaint about it is I find that it kind of dries down pink. You can really see the difference in color on my face and on my neck so I really have to blend it down towards my neck to get it to really blend properly. If you have been watching my videos for a while then you know that I love the La Roche-Posay Efficlar Duo. I love this for spot treating my pimples whenever I get them. And when I went there, I thought I should go stock up because I'm almost out of this one. Unfortunately, they seem to have discontinued this line. So this is the closest that I've found. It still says Epiclar Duo. I was checking the bottles. It looks mostly like it has the same stuff. The only difference is 
this has a tint to it so you can use it in the daytime I'm not sure how I feel about this because what I liked about the other product was that it was completely clear you put it on at night you go to sleep you wake up and your pimples were noticeably smaller or less red the problem with this is it doesn't really blend so well like not even with its own brand of BB cream like I'll put this on top of the BB cream over my pimples and I'll kind of blend it in and it doesn't really blend properly I find that it gets kind of patchy so I'm not super for sure how I feel about this. In terms of clearing my acne, I can't say if it's just as effective as the original formula because I've only been using it for a couple of weeks so I don't really know yet. From makeup to makeup removers. Uh, first off, this is a really surprising product for me. This is the Simple Kind to Skin Cleansing Facial Wipes and I never use cleansing wipes to remove my makeup. I just feel like they don't do a good enough job. But I purchased these because a really good friend of mine wanted to try them and when I bought one for her, I thought I'd grab one for myself because I don't know, I was there so I decided to give it a try. I'm actually really surprised about how much I'm enjoying this product. I did a Halloween look. Halfway through the night, my face was getting really itchy because I'm not used to wearing a lot of makeup for long periods of time. So I got really annoyed with it and I took off my entire face. I'm gonna insert a picture of my Halloween costume here so you know what I'm talking about. I took off an entire face of makeup with one wipe and there was enough room on that wipe to do more. So I'm really impressed with like, it really took everything off. So I'm very impressed. The second product that I purchased is the Vici, Vici Pure oh my god it's a thermal water I read online that the French are very very famous for their thermal water and it's what all French women use so I decided to check it out you can see it's practically empty no I did not use that all in the two weeks since I've been home what actually happened was I bought this on the second to the last day that we were there I put it in my bag flew home went home opened up my bags and the entire bottle had spilled all over all my clothes in my luggage and everything was stained blue which is fantastic but um so i actually don't know how effective this product is i don't know how i feel about it i have been using the little bit that i have left over here and that seems to be doing the job i don't know i'm, I'm kind of like so so about this product mostly because it caused a little bit of damage to my thing, so I'm kind of annoyed with it. You have to shake it up, because as you can see, it's two layers. There's like an oil layer and then a blue water layer, which is the thermal water. And then you put it on a cotton pad and you put the cotton pad over your eyes and then you just leave it there so you're not rubbing your eyes, you're not pulling on the skin, you're not causing any damage. And I find that I have to go in maybe two or three times with a cotton pad to really take off all my mascara. So. Um, in terms of like how effective it is, I don't really know and I can't really test it out that much longer. The next product I have is in a similar vein. So this is the Clinique Instant Eye Makeup Remover in a tiny travel pack. So this was actually, I did not purchase this product. This was a freebie that they gave me. I have been using that to take off my makeup in the same way. You just shake it up, you put it on a cotton pad, you put it over your eye. It takes it off in one cotton pad, so I find that super effective. Finally, on to skincare. So let's start off with the Embryo Elise Late Cream Concentrate. So many YouTubers swear by this product. If you Google French pharmacy must try, this is one of the first products that always comes out. My older sister actually has this product. She says it is very moisturizing. It sits well under makeup. The only problem is in our weather in the Philippines, it tends to be too heavy. But if you're traveling to a colder country, then this is the perfect moisturizer because it's very moisturizing. And when the weather is a lot drier it doesn't feel as heavy on your skin it actually sinks in quite nicely this is the only product that I got that isn't from the drugstore so this is the Aesop parsley seed antioxidant serum I needed something for daytime I needed something that applied well under makeup I have been using this in the mornings and I have really been enjoying it it smells amazing I really feel like whenever you put it on my face feels so hydrated but not oily even though it is an oil and I just really like how it feels just trying it on these past few weeks I am super happy with this product and that's everything that I got from my last trip if you enjoyed this video please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this and leave me a comment down below on anything else that you'd like to see because I love hearing from you guys and I love getting feedback I'll see you all next time bye